Hey everybody, this is So Heidi, and this tutorial is on creating a repeating pattern in Illustrator using the pattern making tool. If you are on Illustrator CS6 or newer, you can do this. If you're on CS5, this option is not available to you. So what we can do is we can just create some motifs that we want to turn into a repeating pattern, and from there it's very, very easy and user friendly to do. So we select our motifs and we choose Object, Pattern, Make, now it notifies us that it's added a swatch to the swatch panel. It's right here, new pattern. So we'll say OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and close the swatches panel. The first thing we notice is we get a little preview of what our repeat looks like. You'll see over here in the pattern options panel, it's showing us a grid of five by three copies. The copies are also dimmed to 50%. This is really nice as we start to move artwork around. We know which pieces are the actual motifs that are making up the repeat which are versus which ones are just copies. So we've got this tile that is by default made by the size of all the artwork. So these four flowers, the default repeat tile we made to that size. If we want to change that we can choose the pattern tile tool up in the corner here and we can manipulate this either manually or we could type a value into the width and height right here in the pattern options panel. From there we can start moving our flowers around and creating a repeat. You'll notice it's really nice the repeat updates live as we move objects around on the artboard and we get to see a preview right away of what our repeat is going to look like. Much easier than drawing the repeat and thinking it looks good and continually going back and tweaking over and over until we get the repeat that we like. So there's a basic repeat that looks decent to me. I'm going to go ahead and click done up at the top here. I could if I wanted to save a copy and what that will allow me to do is save a copy of the pattern as it stands right now. So we'll call that floral one and hit OK. Now it's telling me any additional changes will be made to the original pattern, not the copy. So the original pattern is the new pattern. So floral one, the copy we just made, is set. It's done. Now any changes we make in here, we'll just transform each of these and we'll do 50% scale on those. These edits are being made to the new pattern, not to floral one. So that's fine. So We've got these, let's just make a few more instances to give this a little bit more dimension. And I'm not doing anything too precise here, just making some more copies of the flowers overlapping each other to give ourselves a little bit more of a dense repeat. So from here, I've got my pattern and I can choose done. So I choose done. Now it bounces me back and I've got my motifs that I originally started out with and now I can make some instances of my pattern. So I've got new pattern which was the first one that I made and then floral one which is the one that I made as I was going about halfway through and I choose to save a copy. So from here if I want to make any edits to these I can do so very easily and any of the artwork that contains the patterns on the artboard will then be updated. So if I had let's say three different CADs with this floral print on my artboard and I wanted to update that pattern all I do is I come over here now that's an instance of new pattern not floral one so I go ahead and I click through to that and I want to start deleting some because I feel like it got a little bit too crowded It's moving a little bit slow. So let's just go ahead and select these and we'll just make them all smaller. So I'm going to choose transform, transform each, and that's fine. We'll do 50 and 50. So there's my new pattern that I've just manipulated a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and click done. And now any of the artwork on my artboard that had that pattern is now updated. So that's a really great feature. One other cool thing that I want to show you within the pattern making menu is the ability to do um, non-straight repeat. So we're going to edit floral one now. So I come in here and I edit this and I've got my tile type. I have the option to do a grid which is your standard sort of straight repeat. This tile is repeated on a straight grid. We also can do a brick by row which is stacking the tiles horizontally at a specified offset or brick by column vertically at a specified offset. We can also do a hexagonal repeat which is 
Um, not something I typically do in the apparel world. It just it might make your manufacturers a little bit frustrated. So anyways, a brick by column, you can then choose your offset of half, third, you can choose any offset. I tend to try and leave it to just a half. Um, and from here you might need to manipulate your pattern a little bit more to get the floral motifs to be exactly where you want them within the artwork. But again, um, it's a great way to very quickly create your repeat and not have to continually guess as to what the repeat's going to look like with the live preview that they give us in here. So we'll go ahead and click Done. And now that artwork has updated. So go ahead and give it a try. Very user friendly. Just create some motifs and start making some repeating patterns, playing around with all the settings in the Pattern Options panel. Thanks for watching. This is So Heidi. I'll see you next time.